Hi, my name is Dave Keefe and I am with Nutanix Services. Today I will demonstrate deploying an application to multiple clouds leveraging a single COM blueprint. Today's demo will illustrate using a single COM blueprint to 1. Deploy an application to Nutanix 2. Deploy the same application to AWS and 3. Deploy part of the application to Nutanix and part to AWS. Looking at the blueprint, we see multiple application profiles one for each cloud configuration that we are deploying to. We currently have the Nutanix cloud deployment profile selected, and we can see that each of the services has the Nutanix X signifying that these services are being deployed to a Nutanix cloud. Looking at the VM settings of the MongoDB service, we see the required attributes to deploy to a Nutanix cluster, and in the package we have the Nutanix credential selected and the script to install and configure our MongoDB. Let's go ahead and launch this blueprint with the Nutanix Cloud Deployment Profile selected and fast forward to the completion of this deployment. Now that the deployment has completed, we will look at the Services tab to find information about the servers that have been deployed, such as the names and IPs of each server. Copying the Nginx IP and dropping it here in a new browser window, we can see that my custom application has been deployed and is functional. We can also see information about the VMs that have been deployed here in the Prism Central Explore tab. Now I will demo the deployment of the same blueprint to AWS. When I select the AWS profile, we see that the icons on each service are now the AWS boxes, signifying that these services will be deployed to AWS. Looking at the MongoDB service, we see all of the required attributes to deploy the same application to AWS. On the Package tab, we can see that the credential required to access the deployed server and run the script is set to AWS. Let's launch the Blueprint. We provide a name for the deployment, and then all we have to do to send it to AWS is select the appropriate profile, in this case, the AWS Cloud Deployment. Let's fast forward to the end of this deployment. Now that the AWS deployment has completed, as with the earlier Nutanix deployment, we are able to view the details of the deployed services and we can see that the AWS application has been deployed and is functional. Here within the AWS interface, we can see the instances that have been deployed. We are back at our blueprint. This time we are going to select the hybrid cloud deployment, which will deploy the MongoDB and Node.js services to AWS, as we can see by their icons, and the Nginx service to the Nutanix cloud. Let's go ahead and launch this blueprint, this time selecting the hybrid cloud deployment profile. We will also go ahead and fast forward to its completion. As with earlier examples, we can see our functioning application. This time, part is running on Nutanix and part on AWS. Looking at the AWS interface, we can see the newly deployed MongoDB and Node.js instances along with those that were previously deployed. In PC, we can see the new Nginx VM that has just been deployed with the other previously deployed VMs. To sum up, we have demonstrated how the same COM blueprint can be leveraged to easily deploy applications to multiple clouds or hybrid clouds. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demo. If you are interested in finding out more about this solution, please contact us at services at Nutanix.com.